Hey guys, it's Coach Martinez, a PE teacher at Lag Elementary in Irving ISD. Today we're going to get kicked off, ah, see what I did there, with a new skill called kicking. And actually what you guys are supposed to be able to do is demonstrate on cue key elements of a hand dribble, foot dribble, kicking, and striking, such as striking with a balloon, striking with a body part like a hand or foot. Today we'll try our feet. And as we are doing that, we need to make sure, you know, we'll put our key elements up there. You guys are going to be demonstrating. Demonstrate means to just show something. You have to actually show that you can do it. And what are you showing? Your key elements. That's like the main parts or the main ideas. And I'll show you the key elements for each one of our skills here in a second. What kind of skills you ask? Well, they're manipulative. That's a big word, manipulative. Or the word manipulate. Manipulative or manipulate means to move or change something with control, like you're in charge of it. So um, sometimes we use our fingers to manipulate something. We're gonna move it or change it around, controlling where we want it to go. Sometimes if you have like a pencil or a pen, you are manipulating it, you are moving and changing, controlling it where you want it to go. Well, today we're gonna be manipulating, not with our hands, but with our feet only. So we're gonna move and change something only with our feet, no hands, as we practice a skill called kicking and punting. And we're actually gonna add in a little bit of dribbling this week. When we are striking, striking means to swing something and make contact. It could be your hand, and you swing and make contact, like a volleyball, they swing and hit. Or it could be a other body part that you're swinging and hitting, like volleyball, you use your forearm or your arms right here to swing and hit. It could be that you have an item or an instrument, like a baseball bat to swing and hit, striking, or golf or hockey to strike, or tennis or other racket sports. But today we're gonna be striking, swinging and making contact with our feet only, yeah. And when you um, are swinging and making contact with your feet only, it's called kicking, yeah, kicking. Or there's another skill called punting we'll look at, and even a little touching with a uh, dribble. So let's jump right in. There's a few different ways to kick, kind of depending on what you're doing and um, what situation you're in. One of them, when you're kicking for distance, you want it to go really far away, you are gonna use these key elements right here. Step, point your toe, power spot. When you step, in a lot of our manipulative skills, you're stepping with the opposite foot, the one that you're not gonna use, you're non-dominant. So if I'm gonna kick with this foot, then I'm gonna step forward with the opposite foot. Then it says point toe. We have your toe pointing down because we want it to stay down through the entire movement. So you don't toe poke it, it's called. We don't kick the ball by toe poking, we're gonna point that toe down. So here's how it looks. Step, point, so the toe in the back or the foot in the back is pointing down. And then you're gonna kick it with your power spot. Your power spot is the top part of your foot where the shoelaces are. Look down at your shoes right now. Maybe you don't have shoes on, or maybe you do. If there's shoelaces right here on the top, you'll see it. If you don't have shoelaces, it's still where shoelaces usually go on your shoes. So think about touching on the top part, not the tippy toe, no, no to the toe. Right here on the top part of the shoe where my shoelaces are. That's where I make contact. That's where I actually touch or hit the ball. So I kind of have to bend that knee. Here's all the key elements together, step, point, power spot. Now notice when I touched the ball, it was at the top part of my shoe, right there. Not the tippy toe. We don't wanna poke it or kick it with our toe. We have to flex that foot or point that toe down, you could say, as you swing and make contact, boom, right there with the top part of my shoe. Let's try it a few times together, ready? Step, point, so put in the back, power spot. Good, again, feet together, step, point, power spot. Again, one more time. Feet together, step, point, power spot. And remember, you can use both feet, so it doesn't have to be the same foot every time. On the other leg, step, point, power spot. We can shoot at that top of that foot is coming through. That's when you're kicking for distance for a really long way. If you're looking for a short kick or a short pass just from here to a little bit distance there, or maybe you're kicking it to an open space or trying to just touch it into a goal, you would use a little bit different key elements. We 
you would first step with our opposite foot, that part's just the same. But the next one, our foot in the back, it's not gonna point down anymore, no, no. It's gonna turn to the side. So that when we swing and make contact, we're making contact with the inside of our shoe. The inside there is called your instep. So when you make contact, you wanna use the inside of your foot. Turn that foot and it'll make contact there. But let me show you what that looks like. Without equipment, two feet together. Now take one foot or shoe and turn it to the side. So the toe is poking out. Try that again, feet together, turn. So one shoe is turning sideways. Feet together, turn. Either, either foot, it doesn't matter. Now, if you look at your feet, they should be in the letter what? L, yeah, a capital letter L. Your feet should look like an L. Now you leave it like that, the one that's turned sideways, and you just bring it forward. We have to pick it up just a little and swing it, but you wanna keep it sideways. You can notice my, my foot sideways. Not forward, not toe poking, no, no toe poke. Sideways, so I swing and make contact with the inside of my shoe. Let's put all those key elements together. Step, turn, just the back foot, swing. Make sure your front toe is facing forward. Let's try it again, two feet together. Front toe steps forward, so toe is forward. Back foot turns to the side, there you go. Now pick it up a little and swing forward so you make contact there with the inside. Try your other foot, step, Turn, swing. Again, two feet together, step, turn, swing. Good, here's what it looks like with the ball. Ball is in front of you to start. You're gonna step beside it, turn the foot in the back, and then swing and make contact. All right, one more time with the ball. Step beside it, turn your foot to the side, swing and make contact. Awesome. Now we are going to look at another skill we don't get to use too often. We see it a little bit in soccer, a little bit in football, maybe some other situations that you're playing in. It's called punting. Punting is when you have an object or an item, you hold it out, you drop it, and before it hits the ground, swing and make contact. You can do that with a t-shirt. This is a t-shirt right here, tied it in a knot, and now I can hold it out in front of me and I just step, drop, kick. Something similar like that. Or a grocery sack. Walmart bag or whatever. Kind of hold it into a round area, a round ball. And step, hold it out, drop, kick. You're trying to make contact before the item hits the ground. If you have another item like a ball or a stuffed animal or a toy like that, something that's soft and squishy, then hold it out, step, drop, and kick. Make sure you're holding it with the hand that you're going to kick with. You can even take paper, wad it up and create a ball. Step, hold it out, drop, kick. Good, that's called punting. Now one more skill I wanna teach you about for um, striking with our feet is dribbling. We're adding dribbling this week. And dribbling just means you keep the ball with you under control as you move around from place to place. Dribbling, you might have heard in basketball, and you use your hand in basketball and you bounce it up, down, up, down, up, down, as you move around from place to place, but you're keeping it with you, you have control of it. In soccer, it's the same thing, or when you're striking with your feet, you're using your feet only, not your hands, and instead of going up, down, up, down, now, with foot dribble, you're going right, left, right, left, so you're using your feet to tap the ball back and forth. Again, you can really use any item, it could be a grocery sack, or a towel or a shirt that you've wadded up or tied up, or a piece of paper, or if you have a ball, that works out too. So when you dribble, I'll use my t-shirt ball here, you just take one foot and tap it, just gently, a gentle touch on one side, and then you take a little step or two or three, and you tap with the inside of your foot on the other side. One, two, three, tap, one, two, three, tap, one, two, three, tap, one, two, three, tap. Now if you have a ball, it's gonna roll a little quicker, so you might have to pick up your job. But if you're still learning or practicing something like a t-shirt, or a grocery bag or even a ball um, made out of paper would be even easier because you're practicing and it doesn't roll you roll away. Let's try dribbling again. Tap with the inside of one foot, take a step two or three, and then tap. One, two, three, tap. One, two, three, tap. One, two, three. As you practice, if you have something round, it would work a little easier as you're advancing your skills or getting better and better. Then you can pick up your pace so it's more of a tap, chop, chop, tap, chop, chop, tap, chop, chop, chop. 
And I want you to play a little game called Red Light, Green Light. You will have somebody play some music. And while the music's playing, you are gonna dribble. Tap, jump, 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 tap, jump, jump, jump. And when the music stops, er, I want you to stop. And see if you have the ball under control. If you have to run and chase it, then you don't have it under control. You need a little bit more practice. It's kind of like the game Red Light, Green Light. When the music plays, you dribble. When the music stops, er, see if you can stop it. One more way to stop it is when you have the ball in front of you, it's called trapping it. So you're gonna take one foot beside the ball and one foot's gonna rest on top of the ball. And that's how you will trap it. So as the ball's coming, you're gonna go stop and you're gonna put your foot right there on top of it. My ball ran away, but you can just imagine I had a ball right here. And if it's rolling, you're gonna hop on one foot and put your foot, other foot on top, kind of resting. That's to trap it. You guys keep working on your skills of striking with your foot, like kicking, punting, and now we've added dribbling. Do a great job, keep working hard, and keep improving those skills. Remember this week we're working with our feet, not our hands. So try to manipulate or move things around with your feet only instead of your hands. See if you can practice with everyday things or ordinary things, like when you try to get your um, clothes to your hamper or something at home where your dirty clothes, use your feet to drag it or move it, manipulate them, over here, good, to move some toys to clean them up, scoot all the toys with your feet, practicing using our feet to manipulate instead of our hands. Have a great week, work hard, and keep dribbling.